Um, this is the energy vibration reading for all the sun, moon, and rising um, liberants. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is um, going to be a week of uh, um, a yes week, whatever you have planned for this week for you liberants. It's going to be a wonderful week. This week is going to be the energy of fire, but yet still um, the last week for your zodiac birthdays. Okay, so let's look and see what is going to be happening for you guys and I want to say that I am so grateful um, to a lot of you um, liberants thank you for supporting my channels please remember to listen to the Sun and moon rising sign okay wonderful um, I have changed up the way that I'm doing my readings um, um, sometimes we need to have changes in our lives I like having changes in my life I tend to change things I like variety <laughs> please remember to listen to the monthly readings because we're at the third week of the month this week is going to begin from the 16th until the 22nd okay and um, let's see um, what is going to be your energy vibration for this week because this week is a fire week fire and air this is going to be wonderful for you guys okay what what has been happening is that uh, um, working together with other people is not going to be one of your strong points in this week for whatever reason um, it is in the reverse form this is the energy of the hurt in the reverse form is that you are not going to be in balance and working with it, other people are going to be um, somewhat difficult to, um, for you okay so um, a lot of reverse energies but it um, doesn't really matter because um, there is going to be a difference of opinions and that sort of a thing okay let's look at your week um, um, the weekend for you guys are going to be a weekend of reversal it's going to be a weekend um, of uh, the air and um, emotions yeah so there is going to be a lot of thoughts but clarity and uh, um, an emotion you're going to be um, emotions but it's it's going to be you have lost something but yet still you're understanding why you know it's as if you're realizing that okay um, what I was expecting I'm not going to be received so I will take what I can get okay so it's that sort of a energy so in the weekend it's going to be a hair and water emotions in the weekend on a Saturday it's going to be clarity to a lot of stuff that you weren't seeing and um, on Sunday it's going to be um, an emotional emotional loss that you have um, you're going to bring a, bit, a little bit of balance uh, um, to this so the weekend is going to be a weekend of you know um, judgment in that sense because it's seeing something and whatever emotion you have you're dealing with it okay strange week on Monday we have um, the energy of the Queen of Pentacles so whatever the situation is on Monday you have the energy of the Queen of Pentacles this Queen of Pentacles is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so whoever this person is it's going to be um, a sense of that the energy of Monday is going to be of a balance a balance in a balance form whatever this is it's going to become and be in a balance form for you someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn is going to enter your life or has the traits of a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn somebody who is of an earth sign is going to enter your life and bring you some balance in your life okay as we move on on, on um, Tuesday we have the energy of the king 
of pentacles in the reverse form so this is another earth energy but it's a really um, Tuesday is not such a balanced day there is going to be a little bit form of unbalance coming in your life for whatever reason this is so whoever is this king of Pentacles um, there is going to be an imbalance it's as if uh, he has changed his mind about something so we are going to look at that to see whatever this king has changed his mind about this week is going to be a happy family week um, for a lot of you um, uh, liberants a happy family week so whatever is happening um, it's going to be a positive happy family week so you will realize that you are connecting in vibration with uh, um, your family and it is uh, um, not only the crowning of the week but it's going to be positive for a lot of people especially whenever it comes to family and friends that you connect with the other energy you have is the Knight of Cups. Um, this energy of the Knight of Cups is uh, someone who can be a um, um, between the ages of 18 and 35, sometimes 40. And he is uh, moving towards the energy of the Knight of uh, um, Pentacles on Friday. So on Thursday a lot of you are going to connect with this Knight of Cups this Knight of Cups energy as uh, for the women be aware of this man because there's someone who's a dreamer and um, is dreaming about all these uh, um, situations that is happening to him and um, as you look at uh, um, Friday it's a wonderful energy because it's another earth energy which is extremely good especially for you liberals because grounding is coming in your life you're tending to ground a lot of stuff in your life so what what is happening here is that on Friday someone who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the ages of 18 and 40 is going to really connect to you and really bring a sort of a balance in your life to help you to understand certain aspect um, this is going to be someone who is young but yet still um, very wise uh, wiser than their age so this is what is happening has I I've, uh, you know I've changed up the, the way I do these readings for whatever reasons my guides and angels ask me to change them so what we're looking at is that there are a lot of strong energies that are happening um, actually because the hurt energy Monday and Tuesday um, for you liberals there's going to be a situation with your parents on Monday and Tuesday and whatever the situation is it's going to bring you people close together and there is going to become an healing towards a situation in your life so um, see this week as an healing for you liberals so, um, what is going to happen is that a lot of people are going to also have um, positive energies which you are going to see that a lot of wonderful people are going to get a sort of a situation that is happening to you which is going to be looking as if you know things are going to be changing in your life and this is going to be good um, it's going to be a week of uh, good news celebration wonderful energies that are coming in let's see what is here for love for you guys um because I miss doing my love reading so I'm doing less cards at the end and more love readings I need to bring in the energy of love because that's basically what I'm supposed to be doing um the Prince of Pentacles um there is a sense of connection with people who are of the, um, the Taurus the Virgos and the Capricorns um, there is a sense of connection with these people whatever it is um, they're coming in your lives Merlin the Prince of Pentacles is here twice because the Prince of Pentacles is so it says the Knight of Pentacles so a lot of you women are going to be connecting with uh, um, the energy of the Pentacles the men and some men are going to be connected with women who is um, vibrating from an earth energy vibration okay this is wonderful that I'd love to show to you guys what happened um, when I'm asking about the love reading the ten of cups and the nine of cups your wishes and dreams are coming out so say that your family was a, a bit 
in unbalance for a very long time now you are going to see that happiness and joy is coming back in your family and you are going to feel as if uh, um wonderful new experience um your wishes and dreams of how you would like your family to be or how would you, you'd like to connect to people this is going to be happening for you guys so this is wonderful so this is a blessing um, love is going to be very very strong with connection relationships long-term relationships and marriages are going to be extremely strong in this week um, the six of sword is an energy where um, you're leaving something behind you're leaving an emotional situation behind and you're moving forward and this is this is this is best for you at this moment because um, who um, if you're in a relationship and you are feeling that there is something that isn't right you're feeling as if something is off balance you're feeling as if someone isn't saying the the truth about a situation um, if you found that it is a situation where um, you could not connect with someone because you have a feeling that something wasn't right now you are moving away from that and some people have decided in weeks before and now they're really deciding to move away from that situation because they realize that it's not serving them anymore so a lot of people have made a decision to move away from a relationship that they were connected with and the relationship um, they, they felt as if um, they would not get what is it that they were looking for from this relationship and you're going to move away from it and it's okay because people come in each other's life for a reason okay so let's see what the peace peace there's finally peace peace I love using these cards because these are the wisdom of the Oracle and whenever the energy of peace comes up whatever is happening um, it's going to be really peace and it's a freedom from attachment to radical acceptance it doesn't get any better than this a quiet mind a heart filled with freedom from wants and the soul satisfaction the way to peace is through radical exception acceptance everything in your world is exactly as it should be harmony is beautiful enjoy it this is wonderful and I want to say to each and every person find peace within no matter what is going on and I'm saying namaste until next week